Imagine quitting your cushy job as a product manager at Amazon without having a clear idea of what you want to do next. You're making great money, you're comfortable, but you have this voice inside telling you to take a risk and try something new. Jake Singer, the founder I'm speaking with this week, did just that. Jake is the co-founder of Swapstack, a marketplace built without code on Bubble that connects advertisers to newsletter publishers. With their seed round behind them and the number of users on their platform increasing by the day, the company is growing fast and heading in the right direction. Here are three major lessons I took away from my conversation with Jake. Number one, pay attention to things that are broken around you and solve your own problems. After leaving Amazon, Jake started a newsletter called The Flywheel. Within two months, he had a decent sized audience and began thinking about monetization. The audience was too small for huge brands to be interested in, and the process at the time for getting in touch with advertisers who might be interested in sponsoring a newsletter was cumbersome. Faced with this challenge, Jake had his idea for a business. Scratching your own itch is classic startup advice, and Swapstack is another example of how it can work. Number two, stay scrappy and don't be in too much of a rush to build things. In Jake's own words, Swapstack's MVP was not really a product at all. We spent lots of time talking to potential customers on both sides, seeing what it would take to broker sponsorship deals. We created some Airtable lists to keep track of everyone we were meeting, along with the Slack channel to communicate with fellow writers. From there, we pounded the pavement, recruiting participants on both sides, suggesting matches, and if both sides wanted to connect, we sent an intro email. I think trying to build out a polished and scalable solution to a problem that you're still trying to understand is almost always a terrible idea. I've been guilty of it myself in the past and have seen so many others putting the cart before the horse. This is one thing Swapstack did not do. They spent a long time validating their idea inside of a Slack channel, and only after realizing that they could provide value and solve a real problem did they start building their app. Number three, spend time dating your co-founder to make sure they're the one. Finding a co-founder seems similar in many ways to regular dating. Value alignment matters, and taking things slow and having difficult conversations early about what you both want and how you're going to resolve conflicts is a must. Jake and his co-founder, who's also named Jake, seem to have done this well. If you'd like to hear my full conversation with Jake, keep an eye out, it'll be dropping soon. If you have your own newsletter and are looking to monetize, or if you'd like to sponsor a newsletter, I've left all of Swapstack's links in the description. And as always, if you're enjoying these conversations, make sure to like this video and to subscribe to the channel.